Okay, so we begin simply with the brows. Honestly, doing them as I regularly would. Doing one eye off camera to get a feel of what I wanted to do, and it's truly so simple as her beloved Velma is a simple gal. A base of a white cream blended out with my finger. Adding a burnt orange into the crease. Taking it up to the brow, over to a wing, almost. And a little bit of a lighter orange, almost like a peachy tone onto the lid. Although Velma doesn't wear even this crazy of makeup, I'm not really going crazy, but for Velma, a little bit crazy. I wanted to incorporate the burnt orange of her sweater and the red of her skirt in order to make it a makeup tutorial. So I used my finger with a cream shadow that was a pink with a red reflect in it, basically like pink with a little bit of red glitter. And I put it over the rest of my lid, the inner portion of it, and onto a little bit of the orange. Adding the smallest bit of liner across the lash line. And finally some mascara onto the top and bottom lashes. Now we're done with the eyes. Again, simple enough, right? For the face, I do have natural freckles, but not nearly as many as her, so I opted to add in some extra. A lot extra. <laughs> Using a mid-tone brown and the doubled up end of a bobby pin. For this version of Velma, I simply added a gloss. This was a clear gloss. However, when we go full hot Velma, I added red lipstick into the mix. For the wig, this actually came from a costume pack of Velma, but <laughs> actually named a Crime Scene Detective. Gotta love those copyright issues. Anyways, I cut the bangs down so I could actually see. Added the crime scene detective glasses and then immediately made the sexy Velma costume knee run. This was not a part of the original Velma costume, but this is actually what made me want to do it. But that is it for today's video, and I do hope you guys enjoy. Happy Halloween! Oh no, I ripped it. That's so sad.